Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast, where you can use your crochet to build a business that will give you the lifestyle you've been dreaming of. How do I know what to charge for my crochet? Pricing is one of the most anxiety inducing aspects of selling your crochet. It causes so much anxiety and consternation because how do we charge what we need and still make sales? If you're looking on what to price your crochet on Facebook, you're in the worst place possible. Facebook and crochet groups are just the worst place to look if you're looking for reassurance that you're pricing right. And the reason is, is that the prices on Facebook tend to be really low. And it can start messing with your head thinking that, oh no, if I don't lower my prices, I'm not going to sell anything because that person is selling for that price. And if they're there showing everyone that it's worth this much, how can I sell for any more than that? And it really gets to you, especially if you're not making sales right now. If you're not getting any customers and you see all these low prices, you just want to lower your prices. It feels like that is the only way that you're going to start making sales. This also comes down to the psychology of what's going on. And simply put, that little number in that box is the easiest thing to change. Forget your descriptions, forget your photos, forget how you are appearing on social media. The price is the easiest thing to change. Everything else takes a lot of effort, but the price is so easy to tweak. It's just a few little numbers and you can change it in seconds. Everything else can take much, much longer. And it's much harder to tweak. And so our brains get lazy and then we focus on this number because it is so easy. And it's also completely wrong. Your price is not the reason you're not making sales. So this means is that you can raise your prices. So how do you do that and get sales? You do that by targeting the customers who will pay that price. You set your prices and then go looking for the customers. Different people will pay at different price points depending on how much they value what you are offering. So here's the thing, unless you value what you make, why should anyone else? So you have to start showing the value of what you are making before anyone will say, Yes, that price is worth it. Which means stay away from the Facebook groups because a lot of these groups will not pay what you want to charge because they are not your customers. They are not your target market. Crocheters will not share the price you are worth. Mainly because a crochet does not buy crochet. They make their own crochet, which means when it comes to buying it, they don't value it as much, which sounds really strange because a crochet, they should, but because they would never buy it, they will not say, or they will not give you the price you are looking for when you ask them what it's worth. You're asking the wrong people. So when you see in Facebook groups, 
threads where they say, let's have a what would you pay thread. Don't go on those because the people on it are not your customers. So they don't value what you're making. So what do I mean by value? I mean, what problem does it solve for your customer? Why should they pay the price that you want to set? And when it comes to pricing, you set the price you want. There is no set rule of what you can price. A better place to look for pricing is Etsy because Etsy is a place for handmade products. But even on Etsy, you'll see a really wide range of prices that are set from really low to really high. You can decide where you fit. You then price what you want and then you show the value. So the value is the unique design, how rare an item it is, because don't forget if it's made by you, it's only made by you. And there's only so many hats, booties, leg warmers, socks that you can make. So they're fairly exclusive. And, you know, if you just go down the high street, if something says exclusive, you know it's going to have a premium price tag. You talk about the craftsmanship, the skill that goes into making it. You talk about the quality of the materials. You ham it up. You make it really clear that there is something really unique, high quality, exclusive about what you're making. And just think about those words. Exclusive, high quality, craftsmanship. All of these words have higher price tags associated with them. They're what quality luxury brands use. And that's exactly what you are. You are a quality luxury brand. Crochet isn't cheap. It's not quick to make. It takes skill. You deserve to make the profit that you want. Nobody can tell you what to charge. Nobody has the right to tell you that you're charging too high. Because what they really mean is, is that they wouldn't pay for it. Which is fine, because they're not your customer. You need to learn to ignore those people. Which I fully appreciate is hard. And when I first started, I would take those negative comments really to heart and it hurt. But if you're going to be doing this long term, you kind of have to learn to grow a thick skin and ignore those people. Because at the end of the day, they're not your customers. And if they're not your customers, their opinion simply doesn't matter. Because if somebody's not going to buy from you, their opinion has, should have absolutely no effect on your business. Only customers who do buy from you have the right to say or have an opinion on what you make. They're the only voices that matter. So price what you want, price what you need to make the profit you need to make this business a success, and to be able to stay in it for the long term, and ignore everyone else who prices low, because their customers are not your customers. You are looking for a completely different customer base. If you want to dive into this further, I do have a masterclass on pricing for profit, where we go into the psychology of selling of different price points and how you can work out what you should be charging and to make sure that your time is paid for and that you make the profit you deserve. If you want to take a look, I'll put the links to it in the comments. Thank you for joining me today and listening to this episode. If you have any questions about this subject or would like to carry on the conversation, then why not come and join our Facebook group for crochet sellers? Whether you're selling what you make 
writing patterns or making money from crochet another way, the support group is the place for you. It, you can also check out our newsletter, just sign up using the link in the show notes and have tips and advice sent straight to your inbox every week. So thanks again for joining me and I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.